Hey guys, Shane Starnes with DroidMotorX.com. We're going to be taking a quick look at Android L Preview Build. So there are some new things that are featured here in the new Android L Preview Build. The first thing you're going to notice is the new theme. The new theme is called the Material Theme, and really it is mostly the same as KitKat. The only differences you'll notice here is the new wallpaper, and you're going to notice some new navigation buttons at the bottom there. Uh, the navigation buttons are, you either like them or you hate them, they're incredibly minimal. I doubt that these are the uh, end results of what the final Android L version will bring us. Other than that, icons seem very similar to KitKat. And if we open up our app drawer, you guys can see that other than the settings button here, everything is pretty much the same as regular KitKat. So basically, the material design UI is... Uh, basically, it is built to be supported on various screen sizes and orientations, so it should work the same on all uh, phones, tablets, uh, etc., Chromebooks, etc. Okay, the new multitasking view. Uh, basically, it's set up to not only show you the last applications that you were in, but also if you had different tabs running in the browser, it should show you uh, all the multiple tabs that you're running. That way, it's just quicker to get to the last thing that you were on. Uh, or to go from app to app and from browser page uh, to app, etc. So another thing we'll notice here is an all-new lock screen. If we turn off the phone, turn it back on, you get your notifications directly from the lock screen itself. You can expand these. You can swipe them away. And you can access your full uh, notification panel. Okay, you'll also notice at the bottom here, you can unlock the lock screen and you can get access to your camera directly from the lock screen. Just swipe to the left, it'll bring up the camera. And then also on phones, on the lock screen, there is a phone icon in the bottom left-hand corner, and you're able to swipe to the right. Uh, it's not there on the tablet version, but it is on the phone version. So in the notification pull down here, you'll notice it's quite different. Uh, you do still have some quick settings. I notice a cast screen setting, so I'm guessing if you link up your tablet or your phone with the Chromecast, you're able to actually cast the entire screen which is something that I've been wanting to see on Android, a full mirroring system. I haven't tested that, but that is uh, the only thing that I can actually think of there is that it would actually cast the entire screen, which is pretty cool. Now, one thing I will say, this is a preview build, so it's actually not as fast as standard KitKat 4.4.4, but I imagine it will be plenty faster once the full version is released. It does include full Android runtime, uh, which is different from Dalvik in the way that it processes the memory, but it should speed things up on all devices. And then also they're working on Project Volta. So you guys remember Project Butter, uh, which made Kit Kat and Ice Cream Sandwich Jelly Bean a whole lot faster uh, than previous versions like Gingerbread. Project Volta is set to make 5.0 or the L build much faster than even Jelly Bean. Other than what we've already discussed, Android L is set to make battery life better than ever. Uh, with the Android runtime and other tweaks and settings that will be included in Android L. Okay, there are also some modifications to the camera API, which will allow you to capture full 8 megapixel shots and 30 frames per second. This also uh, is set to work with 64-bit support for applications. That just kind of scratches the surface with Android L. I'm sure there's more to come with Android L. This is just a preview build, and the full build is not set to release until later in the year, I'm sure. Uh, even more will be done to Android uh, by that time. But anyways, guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can find more of me at DroidMotorX.com. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more coverage on Android L and Android in general. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.